Today we're going to put a gluten-free twist on the traditional snickerdoodle. I'm back with Jocelyn Tunney who writes the Misfit Foodie blog. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Before we get cooking here, tell us a little bit about your blog. Okay. Um, I created this blog almost about a year ago now and it really is sort of like a repository of just recipes that I've made over the year. I've been gluten-free for a while now and I've, you know, dabbled in dairy-free recipes as well. So mm -hmm. I wanted to really create a blog where people who wanted normal food can still have normal foods that tasted really well mm -hmm. um, and that they were better for them too. Great. Tell me about the health benefits of uh, having a gluten-free diet. Um, well, gluten, oh, there's a lot of sensitivity in our society lately. Um, it's not necessarily that gluten is, is always healthier, mm -hmm. um, but we notice that people nowadays have more sensitive stomach issues to it. So it could reduce bloating in your diet, just like maybe reducing some of the dairy in your diet can also help with the bloating. So mostly digestive type stuff. And I, and I also think that foods that tend to be gluten-free naturally are mm -hmm. better for us. Um, so they're more like natural in nature. Good. Well, let's yeah. make these gluten-free cookies because yes. I feel like it's okay to eat them then. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. In a roundabout way. Absolutely. So the holidays are all about baking. You know, you'll always have your cookies and desserts all around. So I wanted to take just a traditional recipe that you could kind of modify, make some minor modifications mm -hmm. that would overall be healthy and was still delicious. So we're going to start off with our wet ingredients. Um, this recipe originally called for two sticks of butter. Just one stick of butter alone can be 810 calories and uh -huh. have 92 grams of fat. So Jeez. it's a lot of fat that you're adding into your diet, um, into your cookies, recipes which make them so delicious but not always so healthy. So what I've done is I've reduced it down to one stick and I've replaced the other stick with a half a cup of applesauce. Okay. And so what we're going to do after this is that we're going to take our hand mixer and we're going to just whip this up on a lower speed. Okay. Once you've done that and mixed it together, I'm going to add in my sugar. This is measured out to be about a cup and a third. And then and can you taste any different? Anything yeah, different so, sugar? well, this is coconut palm sugar, and it tastes more similar to a brown sugar than it does like a granular sugar. Okay. But um, it's a lower in glycemic index, and it's a, considered a lower carb option for those who are diabetic. Um, so it's a really great option. It tastes really amazing too. We're also going to add one egg, okay. and about I'm going to guess measure about a eyeball a little yeah, vanilla. Yeah, okay. a little <laughs> vanilla. And then we will mix this all up so that it's easier to wet better. And as you can see, a normal traditional um, recipe will probably look a little bit lighter than this because you're using granular sugar. Okay. But the taste is virtually the same. Great. Awesome. So we've mixed that up a little bit. We'll go to our dry ingredients. Um, we swap, swapped out traditional flour for all-purpose baking flour that's gluten-free. So um, you really, with gluten-free flour, you're really getting sort of the same flavors that you would for just a traditional. I mean, it looks the same. Yeah, it looks the same. So you're really not going to tell too much. Um, you know, I tried this recipe also with an oat flour. It didn't come out as well. So, you know, you really kind of have to play around and see what works for your recipes. Sure. Um, this is about, this is some baking soda and some salt that I've already pre-measured. Okay. And this is um, two tablespoons of cream of tartar. So we'll mix that together. And this is two tablespoons of cinnamon. So we'll just kind of mix these dry ingredients together. Now, Jocelyn, I know the holidays are coming around. Do you yes. have any sort of recipes that you have at uh, dinner or yeah. you bring with you? Yeah, um, like I, well, I'm hosting Christmas, Christmas this year, so I wanted to make recipes that my whole family would enjoy I come from a Hispanic culture. We love food. We love food for it to be tasting well <laughs> and it for usually not always healthy. So sure. I wanted to make foods that would be completely like acceptable for my dad mm -hmm. and things that he would enjoy but also things that were good for his blood pressure so <laughs> I had him in mind so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly add some of these drier ingredients into the I'm gonna help yeah could you and then I'm uh, gonna blend okay so you're gonna put it on medium speed we're just gonna mix this all around all right until yep good that's good until we're starting to get a little bit more into a doughy texture Okay. And then you can finish adding the rest if you want. Sure. Awesome. So we are almost done with this. And once the flour and the wet ingredients have combined, we'll have our nice dough ready 
We preheated the oven to 375 degrees. Okay. Um, these cook in about 11 minutes, so they're super simple and they're, they're yeah, they're really fast. And and I bet you people can't even tell they're gluten free. I, you know, you a lot it? of the times I don't tell people I'm bringing yeah, gluten free options like... or dairy free options, just because I, I I really like to test my recipes on people who would actually not suspect that sure. it's healthier. Um, I think if you know, you might be like, oh, oh I, I don't, don't know if this it. tastes. It. Yeah. So here we have our dough, and it's just you know, it's not too too wet, but it's definitely a wetter dough. Mm -hmm. Over here, I've combined a, um, a fourth of a cup of that coconut sugar with just a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this dough, we're going to roll it up into mini balls, and then we're going to roll it around in that. Your little uh, mixture here, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So do I need to spray yeah. this? Or do, yep. Okay. You could spray that. And what do you have the oven preheated on? 375. Okay. So we're just going to sort of generously. Oh, kind of get it very good. Off. And how many are these going to make? About a it's like dozen two dozen. Or, it's two yeah, dozen. yeah so about a lot two of dozen. Yeah, here. so we'll have a lot. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and that's very about good. It. Well, we are going to put them in the oven. Yeah. We'll try them at the end of the show. Awesome. Jocelyn, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. Love the recipe over on WTNH.com. Click thank style you. and up next, putting happy back into the holidays. Lisa Jones shares tips for coping with the loss of a loved one.